Hey YouTube, this is Silicon Room here. Today I'll be telling you what is rooting and how to root your aces and fun. Hey YouTube, it's me, Silicon Rodin. Today I'll be telling you how you, you how to root your Ace of Zen phone 4, 5, or 6 running Android 4 or 4.4 or, or higher. So I'm going to show you I have Android 4.4.2, which is KitKat. So I'm just going to show it to you. So, first things first, you need to first have some settings on your phone uh, enabled to you to uh, enable you to root your phone so you need to tap you need to go to about to software settings and you need to tap six times after in software information you need to tap six times on bill number so it's giving me the message that i'm an already a developer but it will tell you that you are now a developer so these options will pop up developer options you need to go into them and you need to turn them on instead in case sorry they're not on and you need to enable USB debugging. Now this will give a warning. Uh, USB debugging is intended for development purposes only. What this allows you to do actually is allows your computer to transfer files between your phone and computer. So such as the download files, you want to transfer songs so you can open your phone. Next thing you need to do is download a reliable root checking app. I have root check by JRummy Apps Incorporated and it says that my Aces in from 5 is not rooted as you can see in the video. So uh, uh, the next thing you need to do is you need to go down and again you need to install another app on your phone uh, known as Super SU. So what this app does is it manages the super ac uh, super user access for your phone which means it allows the apps to have root access to your phone. So here it says that there's no SU binary installed and it won't work without it. And in case your phone is rooted, that it is a problem. And actually it isn't because we don't have our phone rooted, of course. So now uh, we're going to exit from the app after clicking OK. So now it's time to connect your Asus Zenfone 5 or 4 or 6 with your laptop using a USB cable. So in my case, I'm using a Nokia USB cable, but you can use, uh, you should use the Asus Zenfone cable, and I prefer to you that you should only use a cable that uses, that also does data transfer and not only charging. So once your Asus Zenfone is connected via your lap, uh, via the USB cable to your laptop, it will show in the notifications that USB debugging is connected. And another notification saying that connected as media device. So if it doesn't say that, you need to go ahead and need to check media device and so that it shows that else routing will not be possible. So the next thing you need to do is log on to your computer. So guys, once you have logged in into your computer, you first of all you need to download a link. Uh, a link that I've given in the description. This will be a zip file. So place it on your desktop and extract it to there. So this will oh, uh, this will extract the Zenfone root kit. You need to right click, um, double left click on it, and you see these files. So first file we want to open is Intel ADB driver installer, Intel ADB DVR installer 1.1.5. It says that it is already installed, so I'm gonna in uninstall it and install it for you guys to show how you need to do it. So it will open like this. Click on next. Please read the user agreement. Just kidding. Click on next. Make sure it is in your C drive and click on install. So it will say that Intel Android. 
it USB driver is successfully installed so once you have done that there is one more thing you need to do is actually disconnect any USB mouse that you have connected to your Zen phone sorry to your PC so that this does not interrupt with the process next open the ADB driver installer 1.0 it says that device status uh, driver status okay but in your case it might say incorrect so just click on install and it says tip already installed sarcastically in my phone so I'm just going to exit it next is the folder called rootkit you need to open it and you need to first of all double click on check before action so uh, once you open this file it says connect your device and turn on USB debugging and development menu or install PC link and make sure Asus Android Composite ADB interface is installed in your computer successfully. Press any key to continue. I'm going to press enter and it will reboot my phone. It says make sure Asus Android bootloader inf interface is installed in your computer successfully. That is done by the ADB driver installer. So I'm going to wait for my phone to reboot into the bootloader. So it will look like this if you have Marshmallow, oh sorry, Kit Kat, and if you have another one, it might look better. So it says if you see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, A, B, C, D, E, F on fast boot, then you are ready to root your device. So I'm going to zoom in and tell you what it says. So as you can see here, it says 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, A, B, C, D, E, F. So this means that we are ready to reboot our device. So okay, make sure it does not the screen does not turn off like that. So once you have done that, all you need to do is you need to press any key to continue. So just going to do that. Oops, camera focus problem. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, it will say that booting your phone you can execute root dot back now so it will it will reboot your phone so you need to wait for uh, your phone to reboot and you will be ready to execute root dot back so guys once your phone has rebooted you need you are ready to execute root dot back now so you need to go and right uh, left click on it and it says connect your device and prepare to root. Do not disconnect USB cable while rooting. So I'm just gonna click enter. Sorry, press enter. So what this will do is again uh, turn off your device, as you can see below, and you can see the Asus logo appears again. So it will wait some time, and it will take you to the same boot order it did before. So once it does that, it's going to take some time for your computer at first to recognize your device. Once it has done that, it will start sending the files. So it says rooting, please be patient, and it sends loads of files in there. And it says starting partitioning, stop partitioning. It says all done, enjoy your device by Shikalka. And it's saying that it's rebooting. So it says finish total the time 0 0.3, 0 0.333 seconds and press any key to continue. So basically we are going to wait for our phone to turn on and this may take some time. So please be patient and your phone will turn on. So guys once we reboot our phone uh, there will be some notification in there. According, uh, there will be a hashtag. So let us see. We are now uh, we can now disconnect our USB cable by the way. So it says that the SU binary needs to be updated. So you need to go ahead and you need to touch on that. Click on that. It will take you to the app and it says the SU binary needs to be updated. Continue. Yes, please continue. It says if you have a custom recovery like TWRP with this team Riven recovery project that can be right uh, try to install the SU binary blah 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 uh, I'm gonna use the normal method and you should too and you have to uh, it won't install the SU binary correctly so just click on normal it says installing please wait on Asus Zen phones it is 
or uh, it is supposed to work 100% correctly no errors on there so just wait for it it may take like 20 or 30 seconds it says uh, installation success it is recommended to reboot your device now so I'm gonna go ahead and reboot my device so this will again reboot your device and I'm just gonna be back when my phone has done rebooting so guys my phone has done rebooting and it shows no notification now so let us go into root check and see if our phone is rooted oops sorry about that I'm gonna go back so sorry yeah I'm gonna open root check it might show this little circle which may take a while so here's the way how you can fix this I faced this problem about the circle and I was freaked out that my phone wasn't rooted so you need to go back and you need to go into super su app so go ahead and find super su there it is and go ahead and uh, go to settings and go to default access as grant oops go and set default access to grant so this will make the process faster you shouldn't do that you should just uh, wait or I, in my case I'm gonna just turn it back on to prompt so here it says that our Zenfone 5 is rooted yay so basically guys that is it it shows a clear message there this is a totally legit checking app as and you can see the process is totally nice you can uh, I hope this method helps you and please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video to your friends and till then thank you and bye